From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and the mutual faithful. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fey were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha De Aon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. Oh, yes. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two of are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged, for ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written, at least, that is what we believed, until you died. is that Alpha, Donani, could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is, dead's dead. And be thankful for that, all we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Lucifer. A long way from Ice Prime, too. Still, he's in better shape than most we see. All right then, make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time.
か。They're all over. Run! Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! Stay away! No child of dust shall escape. Help! Anybody! You! Up there! Please help me! Please! Come out, little vermin! More mortal scum? No matter. All die. <laughs> Come along. Wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You. You were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive. Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls and somehow... It worked. The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Oh, my. You don't know? Oh, perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deon, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him! Professor Formerus Hughes, the 
The Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to shoes. Now, let's get going! Let me get this going. Right this way. Uh, you go first. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention. The Well of Souls. Imagine an end to war. An end to death! of the storerooms. See if you can find anything useful. Wait, do you hear something? More to offer! Sword. That one had a bow. Get it?
Archers up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us. are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. Look at the mortal birds scattered. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems.
completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you could use that staff to burn a path through. Not more spiders. Burn them. Burn them! <laughs> That's what I intend to find out. He came out of the well. Then he better get inside to see the old man. Quick! Let's make another push. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. There's nothing more I can do except to stay here and slow down the Tuatha. But this is the armory, after all. Check the chests. We might have a few things that would fit you. With luck, I'll see you on the outside. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. <laughs> Cloth frees your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. <laughs> Leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy's boat. Ah, plate armor. Nothing protects quite like layers of impervious metal. <sighs>
<laughs> you've made it! And look at you! Even with all you've been through, the Tuatha, your return from the dead... Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the Well of Souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... Wait, where are Fascinating. You Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the Tuatha have reached the lab. That inside the... Oh. No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Agath. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive!
Remember you. You're. You're the one? How did you come back? How did you find me here? When I saw you with Ensel in the well, I ran. But it wasn't because I was afraid. I was coming to report that Hughes's experiment had succeeded. The Well of Souls is bigger than just one gnome's pet project. My contact pays well for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. But I don't know how the Tawatha found out. This has nothing to do with them. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. Thank you, thank you. Here, take this. It's the pay for my last report. I don't want anything to do with it. I'm going back home to Edessa.
You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes's success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. You? You're the one? Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threats, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what Fate Weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion. Hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. It could mean nothing. Or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. 
But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. What could this all mean? Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. The Warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's uh. savage like this. Just look at the poor uh. creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fey may uh. be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. Uh. Uh. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade, likely uh. a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. Uh. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted uh. a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Uh, Seek her wisdom. Uh, I would do it, but... I am uh, a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fay will know how to heal a fay. Uh, if not, then we're back where we started. Uh, uh, she spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, uh, but we most certainly are. Uh, Bye now. Uh. Uh. He's 
a strange time. Uh. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. She isn't doing very well. Uh. Bye now. Uh. Hello? Cast down the brothers of St. Odwig's. Only when they fall to earth will they... Whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Odwig's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. Their light of hope will leave you in shadow. It is the name I chose when I baptized myself in the clear waters of Matharu. I have undergone the ordination rites and am as legitimate as any monk. She was wronged by someone in this village. That is an injustice I can understand. By its appearance, you'd assume Gorhart is a pleasant place. Never make assumptions. Need supplies. Try the corner shop. You there. Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. I do not deserve such good will after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnurfar Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it! It's the only way to keep us safe. He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhall, the Arathi Ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. <laughs> Goodbye. Time is of the essence. That's never been more true. Goodbye. 
way. What do you want? Hello there. What is the mission hiding? Why are its gates forever closed? These are the questions we all should be asking. Are we not lied to enough? We are at war. We scrabble for every supper. We live in fear of one another. Shouldn't the mission unite us? Cast down the brothers of St. Odwigs. Only when they fall to earth will they realize they are not above us. The Fey are not our Welcome to St. Odwig's Perpetual Mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. We at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. Goodbye. is the order that Matharu has given us. I see no order in obstructing the truth. That is chaos. That is what the mission fears. Insist that St. Odwigs admit monks of all sexes and races into its ranks, or tell them to peddle their poison elsewhere. Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmaran, the Eternal, messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. Wait, Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. 
His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos, and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. It is in the caves of Waterhall Down, a refuge for the wild fae. Bye then. If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest. Ask Father Dinwell. Local legend says that the great fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. Bye then. If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest, ask Father Dinwell. Local legend says that the great fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. Goodbye now. Casmaran knows the way.
Israel. If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest. Ask Father Dinwell. Local legend says that the great fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. Goodbye now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Our boats and Finna will be waiting. Come, their camp is not far. Finna and Arbos made their camp in the old Fey ruins north of the village, near my camp. See you later. What now? What is this? A little Egan has made a friend? Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. Obviously. Anyone who has ever glimpsed a fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The fae lands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. Cursed, is it? Huh. It does look like you are well acquainted with misfortune. Keep the veil, then. There are other treasures to be had in the Feylands. Make certain our paths do not cross again, or my brother will add his mark to your scars. I... I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so... magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell, come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. Goodbye now. Mitharu, Egan has returned. As for you, you have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure.
Have you come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours. Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mitharu, despite scripture to the contrary. I know that they've got the proof in their reliquary, an ancient ordination tome, but they've never let me close enough to get a glance. All are welcome into Matharu's embrace. Ha! The hypocrites! Don't commit any crimes on my account. Of course, if Matharu compels you to see justice done, then I won't stand in your way. The Brothers of St. Odwig's perpetual mission keep the valuable tome in their reliquary, but no one outside the Order is allowed a glimpse. What are you doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhall is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So, are you foolish or just stupid? Oh, I see. The twisted gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? I'm sorry. I have no choice. <coughs> <coughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Strang in combat fair, Finian cycles kept. The exploits of this maiden's role, a burdensome and heavy toll. She lived among the mortal clans and bargained with their kind. Throughout the town, they stood in fear of the brilliant fight near. Red Leaf. 